The Inspector General of Police highlighted his administration's extensive outreach, visiting 92% of Ghanaian communities, allowing for tailored solutions to meet the specific needs of the public. Even though we continue to provide security the way we do it, but with the first period coming, the level of security needs to be improved, needs to be bigger than that, because people are even going to travel from far and near to the capital, far and near from across Africa and across the world to the country. So they must be protected in a manner that when they go out, beyond all the people in the country being feeling safe, comfortable, our visitors to when they come, they also feel safe and comfortable. By next week, all the regional, all the division, all the districts are also going to embark on this engagement. The Amr of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Mission of Ghana, Malvi Mohammed bin Silla, praised the IGP for community engagement and expressed public satisfaction with the police performance. He admitted being moved to tears while watching the IGP's accounts during his appearance before the parliamentary committee investigating the leaked tape. You, I believe, with the immediate assistance of this, our senior officers here, have really done a very good job. You've brought respect to bear on the police service. You have surveyed the thinking image of police service. And over and above that, you've succeeded in letting the people of Ghana feel the presence of the police service. I almost shed a tear for you uh, when I heard you speaking uh, before the, 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 the committee and you presented your case. Uh, it was so emotional that some of them, some of us almost shed a tear. The police engagement started last year at the national level by the Inspector General of Police together with some members of the Police Management Board.